Hello, in this video we're going to solve a system of equations. The first equation is y minus 2 times e to the 2x equals 5, and the second one is y minus 1 equals 6 times e to the x. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. Let's try to use the elimination method, so let's get rid of the y. To do that, we're going to multiply the first equation by negative 1 so that the y becomes a negative y and then add it to the second equation. I'm going to go ahead and show all the steps. So let's first multiply that first equation by negative 1. Basically, that means we just switch the signs. So instead of y, we have minus y. Instead of minus 2e to the 2x, we have plus 2e to the 2x. And instead of 5, we have a minus 5. So all we've done so far is we've multiplied this first equation by negative 1. Let's go ahead and write the second equation right below it. So we have y minus 1, and that's equal to 6e to the x. And so now we can eliminate the y by basically adding these two equations. So if we add we end up with the following. Let's see, negative y plus y is 0. So I won't write it, that goes away. Then we have 2e to the 2x minus 1. So 2e to the 2x minus 1. And then we have equals. And then over here we have minus 5 plus 6e to the x. So at this point what we want to do is we want to get everything on one side by itself. And this is actually going to become a quadratic equation. So we're going to subtract 6e to the x and add 5. So I'm just going to do it and write it. So we have, I'm going to write it up here. So we have 2e to the 2x. And now we're going to subtract minus 6e to the x from both sides like this. So I'll write it so you see it. Why not? So it'll come over here, minus 6 e to the x. And then we have this minus 5, so let's add it to both sides. Boom! So we have minus 1 plus 5, so that's 4, and that's all equal to 0. So again, all we did was we took the 6e to the x to the left-hand side, so it became negative, and we added 5 as well, so negative 1 plus 5 is 4. It looks like we have a common factor of 2, so we can just divide it away just to make it a little bit easier. So this is e to the 2x, and then 6 over 2 is 3, so we have minus 3 e to the x, and then 4 over 2 is 2. And this is equal to 0. This is actually a quadratic equation in e to the x. We can think of e to the 2x as e to the x quantity squared, right? Properties of exponents say if you have e to the x squared, you multiply the 2 and the x. So really, we can factor this like this. Parentheses e to the x, parentheses e to the x, and then here we have 0. And that's because when you multiply e to the x times e to the x, you get e to the x squared, which is the same thing as e to the 2x. So now we need two numbers that multiply to 2 and add to negative 3. It's pretty easy, just minus 1 and minus 2. All right, so we have a product equal to 0, so we can set each factor equal to 0. So that leads us to the next step, which is e to the x minus 1 equals 0, or e to the x minus 2 equals 0. To solve these, it's pretty easy. So the first one here, we can just add one to both sides. So we get e to the x equals one. And then that would mean x equals zero. You could take the natural log of both sides or just do it all at once. I'll show some work by taking the natural log. Like this, these cancel. So you get x equals the natural log of one, which is just zero. Over here, same thing, we add the 2 to both sides, so plus 2, plus 2. So we have e to the x equals 2. And then again, just take the natural log of both sides, ln e to the x 
equals ln2. These cancel, so you get x equals ln2. However, we're not done, right? We have a system of equations, and so the answers are ordered pairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down the system again, and then we're gonna carefully find the y values. So recall our system of equations was y minus two times e to the two x equals five, and it was also y minus one equals six e to the x. So this was our system of equations. So let's start with x equals zero. So when x is zero, let's think about what happens. If we plug zero into the first equation, well, e to the zero is one. So we're just gonna get y minus two, and this is gonna be one, so it just, it just goes away because it's one. And that's equal to five. So that means that y is equal to seven. Just to check, let's plug it into the second equation. We get y minus one equals six, again, because e to the zero is one. And so again, y equals seven. So in any case, when x is zero, y is seven. So our first solution to the system is the ordered pair, zero comma seven. This is the point in the xy plane where these two uh, lines, or rather graphs intersect, they're not lines, these are exponential functions. So zero comma seven, is a point where these two exponential functions will intersect. Let's find the other point of intersection uh, by focusing on this value of x. So x equals the natural log of two. And so if we plug it into the first one, we get y minus two e to the two ln two, and that's equal to five. So now we're gonna do some math. We're gonna use properties of exponents gonna take this two and bring it up like this using the power rule for logs. So this is y minus two e to the ln four, and that's equal to five. And this is cool because these cancel. So we get y minus two times four equals five. So that means that y minus eight equals five. So y is 13. But we should check just to make sure everything is good. Let's plug it into the other one just to make sure everything's okay. So plugging it into the second equation, we have y minus one equals six e to the ln two. All right, plugging it into this here. And this is just gonna be y minus one, six times two. So y minus one is equal to 12. So y is equal to 13. So in any case, when x is ln2, we end up with y equals 13. So the other ordered pair that is a solution to the system of equations is the ordered pair whose components are natural log of two and 13. So these would be the two points of intersection uh, that you would get in the xy plane. So if you were to graph both of these exponential functions, this is where the functions actually intersect in the xy plane. Kind of an interesting problem. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. Good luck.